Hey, what up, everybody, and uh, welcome to another episode of Tuck Notes, Beginner Stock Talk. Uh, I'm, my name's Tucker, and uh, tonight we'll be talking about Tesla and some of the upcoming news. And so this is what we'll be going over is Tesla's potential, or I mean, there's a potential bankruptcy that was raised by Elon Musk concerning SpaceX. Uh, we'll go over the massive expansion with the Shanghai factory, we'll go into detail about how it will be implemented in 2022. Uh, and I will cover the price predictions for Tesla stock for 2022 and why uh, 2022 is going to be the, you know, going to do, what is it going to do for Tesla stock? So... Currently, we're sitting at uh, Tesla at $1,144.76. The overall stock market today was completely just blood red, except for Tesla, a little bit, movement, Apple, and Pfizer. Other than that, it was just a mess. Um, the, and basically why is there's new, there was news that shook up the stock market by the CEO of Moderna, and he was uh, he or she stated that they actually need more time to figure out this new variant, and so um, that's not good news. Put a negative, and then federal with the Fed meeting with Colin Powell stated that they're going to mainly focus on tackling the inflation issue rather than the COVID uh, case or this new variant. So that's there's their priority right there. I'm not going to say anything. Lots of buying with, uh, there's been lots of buying in the bond market. So that's what happens when the stocks go down, people go into bonds. Um, and But they're planning to stop that a few months or they're planning to stop it a few months earlier so i think that's going to help but it's still just a bad news on um, some big news to tell you is about tesla or i mean not tesla i'm sorry uh elon musk uh tells spacex employees that starship engine crisis is creating a risk of bankruptcy and so um that's really massive, especially to the employees because they work there. That's their livelihood. Um, so they're facing some of these big issues right now. And one of the big issues that they're facing is the Raptor production crisis. Uh, it's much worse than it seemed uh, a few weeks ago. And that was a quote from Elon Musk. Um, so, you know, we all want, we want to go to space and we want this whole space thing. Um, I, I do. So um, basically what he's saying is if we can't achieve a starship flight rate of at least uh, once every two weeks next year, uh, that's the, that's what they need to do. And these numbers I'm telling you are possibly clues to something else. I don't know that though yet. Um, but if able to achieve this, then there'll be no more worries about bankruptcy. And that's the main focus for SpaceX at the moment right now. Now the news for Tesla, Tesla to boost uh, Shanghai production and open Berlin plant. That was the big headline on another uh, magazine. So they're planning on, to, on investing 100, 1,088 $1, million dollars plus 4,000 employees uh, first gigafact for the first gig of this is for the first gigafactory overseas. So 450,000 vehicles produced since in inception. I'm giving you the stats about uh, the Shanghai factory. Uh, they might be important, they might not be, but produced since inception is the, or the beginning. Um, 
of this Gigafactory, which started in 19, or I mean, it, it started in 2019, 2019, um, in China. This is one of their key factories. Uh, as, as we talked yesterday about Europe, um, this is the factory that sends the cars to Europe. So that's where they're making them more money. Um, uh, the, as we talked about this yesterday, the factory that produces the, the Model T and the Model, uh, the Model 3 and the Model Y. Um, and those are really important cars, like we said, to the European community. Um, now what to expect for Tesla stock in 2022? There's several analysts that came out and gave Tesla price increase potentially to hit, um, $1,800 by 2022. And an analyst claiming the stock could go from 1500 to 1800 and um, named that. That's, uh, so now we're going to listen to a video, or maybe we can watch it, the video, and you can see what they're talking about. Target itself was the bull case just a couple of weeks ago, predicated on some pretty strong earnings per share and a pretty high multiple as it is. So how do you get to 1800? Well, I think a lot of it, you got to look at some of the parts. And I think when you look at these transformational growth stories, the Amazons, Netflix, and of course, Tesla, you know, looking near term at earnings, I think you don't see far from the trees. I, I view some of the parts. I think China alone is worth three, potentially 400 hours to the story. And then you look at what's going to be a $5 trillion market that they own 80% of. You know, this is a company that into the next few years, I think EV could go from 3% of automotive to potentially 10% in the next two to three years. That could be $25, $30 of earnings power for Tesla. That's why I believe this is really a name. We saw a tipping point the last few weeks. You see it in the stock, but, but I don't think this is really a pull forward. I think this is just starting I think the next phase of the Tesla bull thesis. So finally and quickly, is there anything that Musk could do with the shares or sort of with Tesla that would alarm you from, you know, the standpoint of reaching those objectives that you just described? Well, I think right here, it just needs to be containable sale. I mean, everyone knew about the August uh, expiration. So 10%, that's containable. If it starts to be more of a cascade, and more selling, that could really create more of a negative. But for right now, we continue this as a name that, that has significant upside into the next few years as part of what we're seeing in EV. And I think Tesla continues right now, at least in EV land, it's Tesla's world, everyone else is paying rent. And so there you go. That's what they have to say on that. Um, so the short-term price target for Tesla well, it's currently $1,144.76. So also keep in mind that Elon Musk has not sold any of his uh, portion of his Tesla shares. He still has more than 40% remaining. Um, Tesla's high was, its all-time high is $1,243.49. And we can see a bottoming out base low uh, at 1000 but uh Short-term price target is between $1,200 and $1,050. Um, that's a $150 price movement. Worst case scenario, we could see it hitting $1,000. Um, uh, this is the short-term volatility. Long-term, this is a fantastic stock. Personally, in my opinion, you know, it's paid a lot of bills. It's helped me out. And... Um, you know, I I could see this stock having splits, doing splits. It could be a gymnast. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Push the like button if you like it. Tell other people about it. Subscribe to Tuck Notes. Check me out on Instagram at TuckerMLO. Hope you guys have a good night. Peace out. Late.